we are almost uh, to our destination. I say almost, but you know, we still got about a little over 400 miles to go, but it's been a long run here. We are uh, presently in, uh, in Kansas, and it is uh, pretty beautiful out here, man. Uh, I'm really excited the closer we get. This is just going to be awesome. So, I found out something that I never knew uh, last night after getting into Kansas. I come into Kansas last night and I got some footage of it as I was driving. So, I don't know how good it's going to turn out, but if it's worth the dark, you'll see it right now. If not, uh, my apologies. It was real dark, real, real pitch black, dark interstate, no lights. Anyway, so I'm going down the interstate and both sides of the interstate are on fire. Like, it was so dark, I couldn't tell if it was like trees, and, but everything was right up, you know, it was on fire right here up against the interstate. It was on fire on the left side of the interstate. And uh, apparently what happens, it freaked me out because it, this went on for like 20 miles. And uh, I was like, oh my God. And I didn't see any emergency equipment. Nobody out there fighting the fires, nothing. They're huge fires. And it, like I said, it went on both sides of the road for about 15, 20 miles. Real smoky. Some spots the interstate, I mean, it was hard to breathe. It was so bad. Anyway, so I get to my destination last night where I slept. And I went to an IHOP to have some dinner. Because it was like 12 o'clock at night. And that was the only thing open. Um, so I sat down and had me some dinner. And I'm talking to the waitress and I asked her about it. She's like, oh... So I guess typical, that's what the farmers do around here. They basically, something about it helps the growth of the new crops next year or the new vegetation, whatever the case may be. You know, I'm not a farmer, so I don't know the theories behind all that, but apparently all the farmers out here, they, they just burn their fields, burn everything. And it's supposed to help with the growth of next year's uh, harvest. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. But that's what she told me. But she did say that there was a, there is a huge uh, forest fire right now. The Oklahoma, she said we're Oklahoma and Kansas connect. So it could have been part of that. I, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, nevertheless, it's pretty interesting, pretty exciting. Like I said, I, I got some video of it as I was driving. I was just kind of holding my camera like this as I was driving. I was panning around, looking at everything, all the fires. So it may have got the fires in there, but I don't know how good the quality is going to be with the GoPro and whatnot as far as night night filming. That was my first attempt at filming anything at nighttime. I, I, I haven't even had a chance to look at it yet. So, uh, yeah, it's Saturday. Uh, 7.45 in the morning. I just left the Petro. Y'all get a chance, man. Uh, what was that? Petro Salina? Yeah, Petro Salina. I-70, exit 252. Very cool, man. Now, I normally don't give a lot of ruckus and, and praise to truck stops because there's not very many of them that are nice. But this Petro Salina out here in Kansas. It is awesome. Uh, we got a Starbucks inside. we got Wi-Fi everywhere. It's clean. Um, beautiful place. Pleasant sleeping area outside your, your vehicle. You're out in the middle of nowhere. Farm country. Ain't no harm going to come to you. Beautiful scenery. The one thing that I love the most, I got up this morning. I went to take me a shower. I went in there to take me a shower. Have a damn, have a damn white, you know, this huge mirror that goes all along the entire wall. And then right by your door as you walk in to, the, to your shower room, and it's a huge shower room, like almost as big as a bedroom. And so like I say, this mirror goes all along the wall, and then right there on the, in the mirror, there's buttons over there by the door. You got a damn TV. Damn TV in the damn mirror. Watch TV while you're showering and shaving and stuff is pretty cool. And then that was number one. Two, it was a dual bay sink, 
which I thought was cool. Huge, uh, huge countertop, two sinks. Um, and then number three, last but not least, the shower itself. They had the shower, and then they had these huge showers that drop rainfall from the ceiling all at the same time. So you can turn your main shower on and turn the rainfall on all at the same time. Oh, that was badass. I loved it. That was pretty cool. Never experienced something like that. Now I know what the rich and famous go through. That was pretty cool. I don't even, I've never even had nothing like that at home, let alone a truck stop. Uh, that was pretty cool. So you get a chance, Petro, Petro Selena, out here in Kansas. Good place, man. So I'm going to get on down the road to uh, Colorado, 400 some miles to go. I'll be there between 1 and 3 in the afternoon. Uh, local time which is two hours behind my normal Eastern time so yeah, between 1 and 3 in the afternoon uh, should be the perfect time sun will be out I'm, I'm good I don't I'm not gonna need a nap I don't have to deliver till tomorrow so it'll be good times man I will see y'all here in a little bit we'll check give us some further updates y'all be good till then Bye. 